To my channel, Sunshine Shoulders, I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I'm truly grateful. So many channels you could be watching, you're watching mine. I'm here in Dumaguete, the world famous Boulevard. And the Philippines is still at the top of the list of places to retire for me. You know, most of my vlogs, I give you the ups and downs, the ins and outs, the pros and the cons, and anything in between. And I think some people take that the wrong way. They'll take a con, or they'll take a down as a reason not to come here. But I'm a retired insurance agent, and that's something that a good insurance agent is going to do, and he's going to give his clients full disclosure. And that means whatever policy they're interested in, he's going to give them the benefits, he's going to give them the value, show them the value, but he's also going to tell them about the limitations of the policy so that they can make an informed choice. And that's all I do. I came here for a new freedom and a new happiness. And I found it. And no matter how you look at it, the Philippines is always going to be at the top of the list for me. And yeah, you know, sometimes my water pressure is low. So low that I have to fill up a bucket to flush the toilet or to take a bath. But I don't care. The pros certainly outweigh the cons, man. I've got a financial freedom over here that I could never enjoy in my home country of America. And that's why no matter what every place is not perfect if you look for the bad, you're going to find it. I choose to have a positive mental attitude. I choose to look at things from the bright side. And I'm always going to give you the nitty gritty. But yeah, the Philippines is always going to be at the top of the list for me. And what I've discovered is it doesn't really get any easier to live here. I've just gotten stronger. I've just grown accustomed to the things that used to drive me crazy, you know, the, the slow pace of the Philippines, man, you know. But I've gotten used to it now. That's 30 minutes in line to fill a prescription or to find one talk or to buy something at the mall. I've gotten used to all of that. See, here's, here's a pro right here. Look, look at all the signage. It's in English. Hell, I'm 60 years old, man. I don't have time, first of all, to learn a whole language from the beginning, which I would have to do in a lot of other countries. My eyesight is going bad, but I can still read English. And that's a, that's a pro by any stretch of the imagination. At Bo's Coffee, that's sort of like, if anybody's never been to the Philippines, that's a competitor of, of Starbucks. But, you know, Starbucks is Starbucks. You're not going to beat that. There's New Thai. That's one of the best massage places that you're ever going to get in the Philippines. It's legitimate. The problem I have with a lot of these massage places, though, is they change personnel too often. You may go in there and get a good massage one day, and then two days later you go in there and somebody totally different. But yeah, I'm always going to put the Philippines at the top of the list for me. You know, what made me come up with this subject, I belong to a group. It's called Brothers and Sisters in Thailand. And somebody posted a list of the top 10 cheapest places to visit. The Philippines was nowhere on that list. And I'm like, I'm calling bullshit on that list. 
there's no way. They had like four or five countries over in Europe that they're selling you it's cheaper and more affordable than the Philippines. And I'm telling you, it's not true, guys. That's bullshit. I'm just counting for what it is. It's one of the reasons I came here. I'm staying at Airbnb now. It's $19. Hot and cold water, air con, cable, Wi-Fi. It's in a great location. But I, I said, well, hell. Anytime you see those lists of the top places to visit in the world, Philippines never makes those lists. And you know, I guess those people have their, their reasons for making those lists. But the Philippines certainly has to be on their list of the cheapest places to visit because according to them, Portugal, their average accommodation price was $41. Well, I can beat that all day long and twice on Sunday here. So, yeah, everybody knows that I love the Philippines, how much I love the Philippines, and why it's still number one to me, even though I'm going to give you the ups and downs, guys. You have to use that to your advantage. They'll use it against me. I made a video the other day of talking about protecting your financial help, and I was saying... I may have could have used a better words to describe the house and lot over here, but the fact is, it is the biggest scam over here that's used to financially exploit foreigners over here. Now, just because you build a house over here doesn't mean that you're going to get scammed. I could have said, well, it's a bad investment. Even then, it wouldn't have been the right words because... Most of the time when people build houses over here, they live here until they die. It's a noble thing to do. But my point was, this is the way that a lot of foreigners lose their money over here. They fall in love with a woman. She convinces them to buy the house and lot. They have no vested interest in the house and lot. But that's not going to stop me, nor should it stop you from coming to the Philippines. See, you want to know everything about the com country. I can't just give you the the good things about it, which is what a lot of people are selling. They're selling the bright side. That's not full disclosure. So when you get over here, you're going to see something else, and you may be disappointed. And remember, just because the Philippines is not for you doesn't make it a, a bad place. And once again, there's a world-famous Why Not Bar. A lot of foreigners go there to drink, to eat, to socialize. There's the honeycomb right next to it. With, you see the red and yellow sign. Now, on the weekends, they have great live bands there. Of course, here's the boulevard. It's what you come to do Maggetti for. And believe it or not, I just saw one foreigner. That's it. No, two. And, well, actually a woman three, but you got to realize they, they'll tell you that you're going to stumble over foreigners here in Dumaguete. It's just not true, guys. You're going to want to see foreigners when you're overseas, when you're 8,000 miles from home. I walk every morning now with, with a friend, Rodney, and right now Patrick, who's in San Carlos City. Man, do we have some great conversations deep conversations that I'm not going to get from uh, that I'm not going to get from Filipinas you're welcome good morning so I already gave her and see this right here these are gangs guys I'm not going to show them but this is what these are. They see, see, I made a mistake. Excuse me of letting them see me give one. And see, now they're all going to come for me. See, this is what I try to tell you. I got to tell you the, the good and the bad and everything in between. One of these days you're going to appreciate it. But you want your, uh, thank you. Salama. 
and you won't use it to push back on the Philippines or to push back on me. That way you can make a an informed choice on whether you want to live here or even visit here. Now there's the Bethel guest house. They renovated that place. I've got to give them credit. They've really done a great job. And you can get a good deal. It's right on the boulevard. I believe one of my subscribers stayed there. I'm thinking he said it was $20. Van Oh, uh, no. Thank you. Salamat. But yeah, let me go past this Starbucks, guys, to show y'all. Because I'm going to go in there later. But all the signage, man, you know, and I came down here on the bus. And believe it or not, just to come, let's see, 100 miles in the Philippines on the bus, it takes five hours. But so what? See, I can deal with that kind of stuff. And most of the time, you're jumping up and down and like a piece of popcorn because the chassis is not good, the, the shocks aren't any good, but this is still the best place for me, man, because everybody knows the friendliness of the people. Everybody knows that you're welcome here. And Mine Good morning. Good morning. And that's why I'm always going to put it at the top of my list. And yeah, you got places with better infrastructures, but I can do everything I'm trying to do here with the infrastructure here, see. And whenever you start comparing places, you're always going to have to put one down to make the other one be up. I'm not into that anymore. I can enjoy it all over here. And as a man, let me be honest, look, you're going to get more beautiful women than here in the Philippines. The same women that they've always beat into your subconscious mind of what makes a perfect woman over in America. Then when you come over here, you get off the plane, there's literally millions of them. They're friendly, they're approachable, they're available. Throw on it at the beautiful weather, and I see this perfect weather right now. Even though the sun isn't out, it's coming out. I just saw the the, the weather forecast. This is the start of getting ready to be the start of summer. It's going to be hot, hot, hot. So these overcast days like this, you better enjoy it because sometimes it gets so hot over here, man, that it literally burns your skin and you can't stay outside in it. But that's okay. I know what to do now. I'm not going to say, oh, I'm not coming to the Philippines because it's hot. Hey, I'm going to go to the mall. I'm going to buy me an air con, a, a nice fan. I'm going to come out early in the morning, like now, uh, in the evening. But I'm not going to use that as a reason not to visit this place. The natural beauty. Philippines is one of the most greenest places that you're ever going to see. Period. It's green 365 days out of the year. And see, I like that. I'm going to head over to Sikihua Island for a day or so. I'm coming down here to pick up my ACR card. See, every year you have to renew that ACR card. And that's very important because one of my subscribers, he's really a friend. He says, hey, I thought you already had that card. I, I do. But it's only good for a year. And what they do, they'll take that old card. They'll give you a new one. It's the same card with just a different renewal date on it. Same picture, same everything. But it's important when it comes to open up a bank account. You can use it as an ID. That way you don't have to carry your passport around. We were talking about that. Don't carry your passport around, guys. Take a picture of it, of your biological page. Uh... And the the entry stamp, and leave it at that. But don't walk around here because your passport is gold. If you lose that, yeah, you can get a temporary one at the consulate and at the embassy, consulate in Cebu and the embassy. But yeah, you don't want to go through all that, guys. I'm sorry about this. Um, 
but it really feels good. You know, right now the change rate is 55.29, man. That's great. 55 pesos to one dollar. This is why I put the Philippines at the top of the list, man. You know, I could say on and on about the beaches. Y'all know about that. But a lot of you don't know because you've never been here before. I've gotten to the point I'm in vacation mode again. And every now and then, I have to remind myself that I live here. Otherwise, I'm going to start spending extra money. But the, this place puts you in vacation mode. It's like I'm on a vacation every single day. Let me head back this other way. I'm blue tie. I just like to walk around this boulevard when I'm in Dumaguete. It's such a beautiful place. They really improved this. When I used to come here, the boulevard was only that small little place over there. So yeah, guys, start trying to appreciate the 360 because nobody else is giving you the 360. They're selling you the dream. And I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's going to do you any good. And although I'm not going to get, you know, things are a whole lot nittier and a whole lot grittier than what I give, I don't think it's my place as a guest to tell you everything bad about the Philippines. A lot of it, I have to, I have to leave it for you to see when you get here. But I want to give you an idea. I'm all in. I've given the Philippines everything. But what I've got in return has been so much more. So thank you so much for stopping by today. I really, really appreciate it. If you're in America, it's getting late. Before you let your head hit the pillow, please find somebody to help. If you don't want them late grocery runs, beer runs, we run. Just getting off second shift. Oh, you're on your lunch break. You see somebody out in the street. Bound something to eat, bound something to drink. Give them a few dollars. You're in the Philippines, about 8.30 on a Thursday morning. I'll have my live stream on Friday. I'm going to head over here to JRC Consultancy and pick up my AR ACR card. They said it was ready. Not a day goes by, I don't help somebody over here. If you don't do anything else if you can just learn that one principle your life is going to be so much better it's going to be so much fuller because if i don't know anything else i know this one thing for sure we help other people we help ourselves take care stay safe stay covid free i'll see you next time philippines at the top of the list for me man and i believe if you come over here with an open mind and you stay over here long enough to learn the ropes, you may come to that conclusion too. I don't see any foreigners bumping into each other over here. Do you? But they'll tell you that. They'll say, oh, there's too many foreigners in Dumaguete. Well, where are they? If they're going to be out, this would be the best time to be out. But you can't believe everything you hear. You got to see it for yourself. Take care, everybody.